You ready? Sid, are you ready? <clears throat> yeah, what was our plan? How, so we... Okay. And then Okay. And then I'm hovering on <clears throat> most use. All right, well I'm already recording on Reaper, so I'll do this. Oh wait, I got to record on here. <sighs> Maybe video's a little harder than we thought. Oh, it's just going to take a little extra time, that's all. Well, the webcam looks like it's going to be a slow as shit record. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. I think, I actually think I'm successfully recording both audio and video currently. All right, Dave test for <clears throat> background sync. One, two, three. Three, two, one. All right. Mm. Brian test. Clap. And one, two, three, three. Wait. One, one, two, three, three, two, one. Looks like I'm live and recording on everything. Holy Moses. Holy cow. Ah, uh, crap. So that's not going to work. <sighs> <clears throat> Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to capture my face very well. That's why I just, I have the Hangouts window side by side with the Reaper window. Um, Do you have, are you recording my video? Nope. Okay. Are you recording your uh, your background? Yeah. <clears throat> Instead of doing doing three, I'm only doing two. I'm. I have the Hangouts window set up in its own window next to Reaper. So I got oh, okay. I got my camera showing next to Reaper. Figured that'd be the easiest way to. Well, what I'm going to do is. I've got Reaper running, and I'm just going to put a face cam down in the bottom right-hand corner. Okay. So I think we've synced our audio then. Yeah. Because you Good synced day. your clap. I synced my one, two, three, three, two, one. I've got this thing running right now. And now then... all we need to do is sync us together with the open. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to this edition of the Wonderberry Podcast. I'm Brian. I'm Dave. And you can find us online at wonderberry.com. And I am D Wonderly on Twitter. Or I'm Brian Keysberry, anywhere the internet can be found. You can leave us questions on our Facebook page. Check the link in the description. How was your I think week, we Brian? I think we said that last week and then. Did we actually put the link in the description? I don't know. If it's not there, it will be now. It's on okay. the website. If it wasn't there last week, we'll try not to forget again this week. Yeah. No promises. So exciting uh, Exciting news coming up, though. Yeah? Releasing on YouTube. Oh, boy. Look at us. Yeah. 
<laughs> will be the uh, the first three episodes will be available as an audio podcast, kind of the same way you hear it now. And this week, we'll do a little visual behind the scenes look at what our recording kind of looks like, jumping between the two of us. And we'll be doing a lot more with video and the website in days to come, I guess. Months to come, yeah. years to come. I mean, we, we planned for 99,999 episodes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, weekly once episodes. A w- once a week until we both convert to cybernetic beings and then rest away. <laughs> Which shouldn't be too long, apparently. Yeah. So what you were doing this week? Not a whole lot. Um... It looks like my angelfish are about to lay eggs again. Oh, that's good. So back to uh, back to planning. In fact, Christy just sent me a picture. It looks like nice. Eggs. Oh man, she's Look, dropping oh, eggs. You're up here recording, and I'm up here. I'm away. I'm away. <laughs> Damn it. That's right. You got all night after this to, to sit down and watch them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot down there and do some video of that. Maybe I'll share some video of that later, too. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. If you get video of it, send it to me uh, before I'm done editing everything, and we'll get some video or at least some pictures up on the, uh, on the YouTube. Cool. Maybe so we can throw some in the... Throw some on the blog post, the website. Oh post. yeah, that'd be awesome. Huh? Um, I mean, not a whole lot. It's been slightly uneventful this week, which is really, really abnormal for me. Weird. Too busy. Yeah, too week's... busy watching some politics and Ugh. trying not to worry. I'm I'm so done with politics. Dude, ready it's, to be it's, a... the, it's the never ending cycle of one side's mm-hmm. in charge and the other side goes freak out and chicken littles. Then the other side becomes in charge and they gloat and the other side goes freak out and chicken littles. And then the next side will be in charge in four or eight years and they'll gloat and the other side will be like chicken little. Right. It's just a cycle. <laughs> it's a pendulum that swings. It swung one way for a while and not swinging the other way. It's too bad we just Meanwhile, couldn't, like, settle in the middle. Well, you know, law of averages is it kind of evens itself out somewhere <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> That's just a theory, though, isn't it? It hasn't really been proven on anything. Well. I mean, other, other than flipping a quarter. A pendulum. Eventually just if, slows if, and stops if, if, in the if, middle, if, though, doesn't if an it? Arc, if an arc goes plus 90 and negative 90, at some point it just ends up at zero. That's good. Pretty good math. Well, it's... <laughs> so what you're telling me is we really have just not gotten anywhere. Well, no, we Since never do politics. Yep. Son of a bitch. I want to go to Mars. <clears throat> Aren't we there yet? Yeah. We went but... to the moon. <clears throat> we can go to Mars. If, if Isaac Asimov's taught me anything in life, it's that politics will be in space and in Mars, too. That's true. Yeah, I mean, we depend on it. Yeah. If 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 we have it, we're screwed. If we don't have it, we're screwed. So, what's the my, point? You know, my my real <laughs> my real position is that I'm. Well, I guess I'm not really surprised. My 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 thought is that we seem to have not used the democracy of our democracy. Well, and like that's. A, this will be the most political that I'll get on this thing, but people need to realize is that we never have been and never will be a democracy. Yeah. 
We're a constitutional we, republic. The people yeah. do not vote for president. The people vote for delegates who then in turn vote for president. And each state determines how those delegates are done. Mm-hmm. Up until not so long ago, we didn't even elect senators. Each state legislation elected the U.S. senators. So mm-hmm. we've never been a full democracy. Yeah. People, people know, need to get that out of their we, heads very quickly. We've, we've been told that since grade school. But, you know, well, nobody, nobody ever takes system. the time to, like, try and prove it. Yeah. But we're not a democracy. So it's... Yeah, enough politics. Yeah, let's let's talk about everyone else's Hold favorite it. subject. One more Religion. one one no, quick thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want me to sum up religion? No, no. I, 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 I used I used to be a Methodist, and now I'm just a good guy. Um, do you remember Google Moderator? Vaguely? That was... <clears throat> so the idea was you uh, would put up an idea and you would, you'd, you'd have an open group and the people um, the people in that group could like comment on the idea and vote like up or down on it and you, it was I, it was clearly built as a business structure to like try and move projects ahead um, but I kept looking at it going, motherfuck, this is democracy. Like, this is what we should be doing every November is just like, D- uh, here's an issue. Like, I, I legally want to be able to purchase marijuana in a shop and smoke it in my home. V- everybody vote on that. The, the, the problem with a true democracy, though, is, is that very quickly does the majority dictate um, what the minority the, the majority can can push the minority down and out very quickly it does not give the minority a voice yeah it, it, uh, it becomes mob rule very quickly and that's one of the reasons why we don't have a democracy and that we have the system that we have set up is so that the big guy doesn't trample all over the little guy all the time. Yeah. I, I guess, I guess yeah. that's, did, did you see anything about Larry Lessig? Like in the very beginnings of the, um, the democratic primaries? Not really. I, uh, I didn't pay close attention to much of anything during the primaries. Uh, Seeing how I'm neither yeah. a Democrat nor a Republican. I really don't care about primaries. I I watched a little bit just to see what was going on, and then I I found this guy Larry Lessig, and he was a I think a Harvard law professor, um, and his 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 idea was he was running on one issue, and his issue was to um have a tax on a tax that would support elections and remove like paid advertisements for um politicians and stuff so it was it was it was like it was a pretty sound idea to just get money out of politics yeah and his his platform uh was essentially to just put up that issue this is the one issue i want to do as soon as i accomplish this issue i'm done being president and somebody else takes over doesn't doesn't Australia have a system something like that set up where you can't use private money at all for political office or for running for political office? Everyone gets a set amount of tax dollars and that's that's it. I don't know for sure, but I think we're one of the few people that actually have like private money in politics. It's retarded. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. We we are now done with politics. <laughs> We got that out so, of our system, and we're done. So I got an iPad at the shop. Oh, boy. What do you think? Shiny. <laughs> um, I, the, the stuff that's on it is really easy. I mean, I 
was, there were some things I had to ask my employee. She has an iPhone. Um, she's kind of eye tarted. Um, so there's some things I had to ask, like, how do I move icons around? Cause I held it and it didn't move. And apparently you hold it down and then they start jiggling. You let go and then you press and hold again, which with Android, you just press and hold and start moving. And I, it was, it's like weird, weird little things where like, you know, if I, if I'd have never done the Android version before yeah. that prop, I, it wouldn't have even been a thing It I would have just got it. But I'm, I'm amazed at how, how programmed my brain and my fingers are to do Android things and to try and like trying to find, trying to hit a back button. There, oh, there's not a yeah. back button. You go home. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I ran a little bit when I was trying to set up my daughter's iPhone. It was just everything I intuitively wanted to do because I've been using Android for so long. I didn't know where to go. Yeah. You know, we had kind of mentioned in the first episode about not being iPhone guys or Apple guys. We probably should expound on that a little bit. Yeah, what that's... brought you to the Android ecosystem? Um, I mean, I and... started using Google as a search engine pretty early, like late '01. Um, I was in the early invites for Gmail when it came out. Um, I th think by the time Android was even a thing, I was already so far into the Google ecosystem of things that it was just the natural choice. Um, the iPhone did look nice, but I don't know. At the at the time the iPhone came out, I wasn't looking for a new phone. Definitely wasn't looking to spend the few hundred dollars on one when I had just you know when I bought a Nokia for like twenty bucks. Yeah, and it was working just fine. Um, so I pushed it off, and then when the G one came out, uh, my brother and I were kind of excited. We're like, well. Man, Google's making a phone. Like, we, Google helps everything in our lives already. With you know, we we do a lot of stuff in in Drive, and we share calendars. Um, and then Gmail's been handy. We were already using Google Talk, um, which then was already embedded into Android at the time. Um, and we we got a combined a um t-mobile account and both got g1s oh nice and then just kind of jumped in you know by by the time i bought like ten dollars of apps you it's like the you hit a point when you're in an ecosystem it doesn't matter what it is you could be on a windows phone you start putting money into that windows ecosystem and you're not getting yep. out yeah you're in it yeah the ecosystems are very are very poignant to to how I arrived where I was at too to a certain extent. I kind of went a different route than you did though. Yeah, you kind of took the long way. Well, <clears throat> my first smartphone experience was through uh Research in Motion or RIM or as they're commonly known in the United States, BlackBerry. Mhm. Mm and I had four or five different Blackberries, but at that time, I was also on Verizon. So my my choices pretty much were Blackberry, which I was in the military at the time, and so everyone that had a smartphone had a Blackberry. So it was kind of a circumstances that way. And then when I decided to go away from Blackberry and switch to Android, um iPhones were still a AT&T exclusive. And I I would have to leave my current contract with Verizon which I wasn't going to do I for, for AT&T to get an iPhone. I forgot about that. <clears throat> I forgot they were exclusive to them. 
they were exclusive for a very long time with AT&T. Yeah. And so and I, I might have been part of part of the reason why I didn't jump on an iPhone was it um I mean AT&T was expensive at the time, at least yeah. for me, it seemed expensive. Well, I was I was even though I was military, I was on a shared plan, like our whole family was on a Verizon shared plan. So, I wasn't leaving that cheap contract. That and I was grandfathered into the unlimited data and all that fun stuff. There was no way I was going to leave that. Yeah. So I arrived at that way. I've come very close to buying iPhones a couple of times. Um, the last two times that I've gotten new computers, I've looked very long and hard at Macs. And I've always said that if I switch to a Mac for my, my computing, I would also switch to an iPhone for the ecosystem share. But I was very familiar with uh, at the time I was running Linux. And I was very, you know, perm- all full time Linux. And knowing that Android backend was all Linux based, it was all off the Linux kernel, I felt very comfortable with it. Yeah. Because I got into modding and, and that kind of stuff very, very early in my Android, um, you know, ROMing and all that. Very early. Yeah, I think I think Tasker was one of the first apps I bought. I think there was like a Mahjong game and then something for Magic the Gathering and then Tasker. It's amazing that I can remember stuff like that. I I consider I'm about in desperate need of a new computer and I keep considering a Mac. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't get the iPhone. Um, no, just from I, the, I, won't, I won't now. I don't think I'm too deep into, way too deep into the, uh, the Google ecosystem. Um, and it, and it's not, I have, I have issues with Apple as a company. They've here recently, especially they've done some things that, I scratch my head and if I was into that system, I would get really frustrated. For example, the iPhone seven, they did away with the, um, the headphone jack. And all they have now is one lightning port on the phone. I, I get, I get the decision. I understand. It. But they release out the new MacBook pro. The MacBook Pro does not have a lightning port anywhere on it. It is completely USB-C, and there's a headphone jack. Which means you cannot use the same connection. You cannot natively connect your phone, your iPhone, to your MacBook Pro without conversion dongle. Do they cost 30 bucks? I think they cost more than 30 bucks. Dude, so I I was explaining my my Apple theory earlier today on the phone. Um and I said I kind of look at Apple as like Burger King. Only Burger King only sells the Whopper and the Whopper Jr. They also sell fries, but if you want the fries, you also have to buy the little sleeve that they come in for an extra four dollar. <laughs> but it's 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 the basic things, you know. If you're going to do away with the headphone jack on the iPhone, and I, I get that, you know, you 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 spell you sell a special uh, set of headphones that plugs into Lightning port. I get it. But to then put not put a lightning port anywhere on your flagship computer, dude, it doesn't. That doesn't work. The G one, oh, oh, the G one oh, didn't have a headphone jack. Here's here's the other fun part thing for this whole thing too, is that the USB C port on there is the only port on there. On, That's on your the port Mac, for on connecting. The 
on the MacBook. It has one single USB-C port. It is used for paraphernalias and for charging, but not both at the same time. Per- peripherals. One. I sell yes, paraphernalia. Yeah, <laughs> but there's only one. So you have to choose of plugging uh, stuff in that's not Bluetooth or charging your device. I don't know. It's Bluetooth it's is a great concept. Yes. I think like Bluetooth 7 or 9, like somewhere in that era, is going to be great. Uh, dude, we're at four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a bit of an audio nerd. Um, oh, Bluetooth audio is the worst. Yeah, and that that blew my mind that Apple wants you to listen to their music service only over Bluetooth. Uh, lightning. Uh, they're supposed to have... be the quality masters of I... the technology industry. And why would they do that? I, I, I don't know what the DAC or the latency is over light for wired. I don't know what those numbers are. I've not looked into it much. Um, maybe one of our fans out there that does does use the uh, does use Mac stuff can let me know what that is. But it's it it frustrates me as a tech person to see that happen. And then there's the. The other thing that irritates me about Apple, and this will continue to irritate me until they change it, is I cannot build a piece of software, deploy it, upload it to the Apple App Store without building it on a Mac. Because you have the, one of the requirements is, is it has to be signed from a Mac. Yikes. Which means I can write Xcode all I want, but I cannot compile it without a Mac if I want to be able to deploy it on the App Store. I just I just asked my brother what the latency through a lightning connection was to. I figured he'd probably know. He'd be the one to know off the top of his head. Yeah, he probably would. That's crazy. But, um, yeah, I, I, you, like I, I can build. Windows has limitations. Lots of limitations. Uh, Linux has lots of limitations, but at least I can build for both of those systems from each of those systems. Yeah. Cannot build anything for a Mac or for Apple or for iOS without a Mac. Hmm. And that, that irritates me to no end. I don't, I don't care that they haven't released iMessage for Android, which I think is a dumb idea. I still think they should do that. Because I would probably switch to it yesterday if they did. FaceTime. But Xcode, something as basic as being able to use a Windows machine, build a piece of software, and want to deploy it on multiple mobile apps is impossible. Yeah, they want you on a Mac writing Mac software and then half-assing it everywhere else. Yeah. And and it's, you know, yes, I could buy a Mac, but I'm going to overpay on a Mac for what I can get in the same specs in a Windows machine. That's, that's, you know, yes, it's, 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 it may be premium built. It may be this, it may be that. It doesn't change the fact that it is a lot more expensive to buy a competing piece of hardware if you go through Apple. And people, some people just don't have that kind of funds. It's very frustrating. Ah, dang. Dustin messaged me back. He said 0.7 milliseconds. As low as 0.7 milliseconds. And then he goes, wait, lightning or thunderbolt? I'm like, I clearly uh, said lightning. Thun- thunderbolt was as low as 0.7 milliseconds. And I imagine if they did... A, wasn't wasn't they, thunderbolt their first? Because wasn't thunderbolt just... Their name for IEE. I don't know. They vaguely. And then they created their proprietary, which I believe is the current, which is Lightning. If, if official, official 
Sweetwater sales customer service sales engineer answer to that question. I don't know. It's low enough. <laughs> it's low enough. Well, that settles that. Settles that. And it's it's better than Bluetooth. Because I think a tin can, two tin cans with a string between them is better than Bluetooth. Yeah, well, pretty much. It's kind of an exaggeration, but... Either they sound about the same. No, I I don't I don't mind I don't mind Apple I don't mind Max. Um, life circumstances has been such that I've never been really afforded. I mean, I my very first computer was an Apple computer. I started with an Apple II E back in the what was that? It had been early nineties, late eighties, early nineties time frame. So I I really don't have a major issue with with Macs or with Apple. Um I have well I have major issues, but my reasoning for not using them has been one more of uh I was a very long time Linux user and only recently have I switched back to uh to running Windows most of the time. And and by recently I mean within the last three or four months. I know. And that's and that's <sighs> been that's been a, a shock to my system trying to relearn Windows after so many years. The last time I ran Windows full time it was Vista. Not Vista, XP. I skipped Vista 7 and 8. Yikes. And 8.1 and mm. 8. Point whatever. I know we've talked you and I personally we've talked a few times about I I don't really enjoy being on the Windows ecosystem. Um, no, I don't. I'm, and that's another thing where I'm stuck. Like, I would probably get out, but what's my option? I've I'm not tried. stuck. Um, I enjoy gaming too much. Yeah. And while dual booting is a solution it was a solution that was becoming more frustrating than not. Yeah, and that's where I I found myself being in Windows more and not what? needing to switch back to Linux, like just being staying in it all the time. My My setup right now is I run Windows as a primary system, and I have, I've got two monitors. So one on the left, I always keep running Windows. Then I run Linux in a virtual box. I run seamless integration. And I run it over on the right screen. So I am technically running both at the same time. It automatically grabs my mouse. I just move the mouse over there. And suddenly I'm running in Linux in, in with all my Linux stuff. When right. I switch back, I just move the mouse back over to the left. So it's... It's like running two different systems, and it works for me. I mean, it's it's doing everything that I want it to do, everything that I need it to do. It's not a bad setup right now. Yeah. And then for mobile stuff, I have a Chromebook, and I use a Chrome Remote Desktop to remote in. And once again, I, if I want to work on the Windows side, I work on the Windows side, and I scroll over all the way over to the right. And my Linux screen pops up, and I can. It just looks like it's running seamlessly through my Chromebook. Yeah, you know, I've I've managed to now mix three ecosystems into one. <laughs> I well, technically two, I guess, because desktop and a Chromebook. Man, I jumped. Which, I jumped in the uh, the Chromebook. I um, absolutely love my Chromebook, dude. They're nice. They're. Christy has one of the A, uh, see Asus or Acer, whichever. No, I think it is Acer C twenty seven or seventy two with the touch screen. Yeah, the one I didn't that, get the, the touch screen, but I just bought a new one that has the ten eighty, the full true ten eighty resolution. Yeah, dude, and it's it's that thing is so nice, and I still have one of the. It was the first 
commercially available one, the Acer something like 47 or whatever. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. Um, I've got the Acer Chromebook 14 yeah. holding it up to the camera with my Federation of Planets logo and Enlightened Ingress sticker on it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love this thing. 14 inches, <laughs> beautiful machine, brushed aluminum. Wow. The one that I have, um, we've had it for four or five years. Yeah. And it's still kicking. Like, it's not fast. I can't do, like, anything crazy on it. But it's not, I mean, it's not meant to anyways. It watches videos fine. Um, I can email. I do hangouts, like the yeah. the stuff that I'm normally doing, and that's that's kind of why I'm stuck with Windows. Though is there isn't software to replace the stuff that I'm doing with the Chromebook yet, and I I've seen some hopeful things. There's a there's a web app called WeVideo that does does an amazing job with video editing. Um, it's pretty fairly intuitive. It, some of the stuff was a little silly, like having There's, to adjust every there are clip. Some, there are some tasks, but then again, the Chromebook's not meant to do those types of tasks. The Chromebook is meant to do the tasks that 99% of people use computers for. There's yeah. a few of us that use it for a lot more power stuff, and we need the extra oomph that everything else gives. But most people out there, they're writing papers, they're on the internet, and it's one of the best geared toward those people. You know, people are always going to bring up games and they're always going to bring up audio, video, blah, 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 editing. That's not what Chromebooks are built for. That's not who they're generated for. And that's not who they're marketed for. Yeah, but we're, we're going to see it. We're going to see we eventually it. will. It's going to happen. And I, I, I wasn't sure until I found we video. There was an audio thing that was built into hangouts before they went and screwed up hangouts on us. Um, which was actually, <laughs> that thing was so cool. And you could just, you could, uh, like multiple people could be logged into a project at different from different places and like working on editing on this yeah. audio track. Yeah, that would be kind of nice too. It just it didn't I like it it worked to get all the good stuff out of it, like actually being able to sync audio files to each other in the project and like export it all as one thing. So that was where the paid service was, which I don't know. I guess that doesn't seem like a bad thing because you're paying for programs anyways. Paid, paid for Reaper. That wasn't. I guess that was like <laughs> sixty-eight bucks. That's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, especially considering it, it's as powerful as Pro Tools, and Pro Tools is like a thousand dollars. Yeah, sixty-eight bucks ain't so bad. Yeah, it's. The the video editing community is that way too. Where it's just there there's some good free ones out there, and then it's you know you're either spending you're either getting one that does most of what you want to do, or you're spending thousands of dollars. Yep. Speaking of which, we're gonna be doing some video editing. What are you gonna use? Um, I'm going to be using a mixture of probably Lightworks and KDN Live. Uh, KDN Live is actually Linux only, and it's one of the best open source uh, video editors out there. And Lightworks, they're free because I don't have the $600 to spend for the pro version. It does a lot, and it makes me very happy, and I'm learning it still, which is why I'm going to be doing a mixture of both. There's a lot to learn, man. <clears throat> I'm I'm going to try to do as much as I can. 
Um, the only limitation in Lightworks that's making me kind of hesitate on it right now is that the non-pro version will not export at 1080. Nope. 720 at the best. 720 at the best. I was going to say... I don't we... like that. Um, I was actually looking earlier for a couple of other programs, and there's a couple that I'm going to try. Um, just play with a little bit. Well, here's how much, how much stuff do you want to do? Like what, give me a, give me a quick feature list that you need. Um, right now it's going to be, uh, playing with light levels, playing with, uh, obviously your, your regular cropping, uh, overlaying text, mostly for now, um, Green screen manipulation, which I'm not doing for this video, but for ones in the future. Um, mostly that style of stuff. Would you shoot a brick if I told you that Reaper would do all of that? I was looking at, at Reaper's availability, and it's... It's... It's tricky. It's a little rough. It, it's it's a little but rough it's a, would be an improvement a, over what it is. It's It can be done, but intuitive the, the hard part is the the other one that i'm actually looking at right now too is blender as an entire Man. video editing suite blender is in. very complicated I've, I've done a lot of stuff in blender before and i don't know how their video editing side is blender is insanely complicated and it, insanely powerful it took me a couple of advanced. weeks to figure out how to get to the video editing part and like get out of the 3D world rendering part and get into the actual <laughs> video. A couple of weeks just to figure that out. And by that point, I was like, screw that, I'm done. Um, yeah, I've, I've done some basic video editing with it. Um, Lightworks was the, way better. Yeah, Light, Lightworks is nice. I, I just don't like the limitations that Lightworks has for the 1080 or not being able to do 1080. Yeah. Um, especially with some of the other video projects that I've got in mind that I want to do eventually with Wonderbury as a platform and not just the podcast. So I, I think I'm going to find a different one. Um, <clears throat> Katie and live requires a little bit more processing power than what I have dedicated through my, uh, through my virtual box at the moment. I'm going to, I'm going to get you on that Reaper train, man. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll take a it's, look at what Reaper's got. It's pretty... So, you, uh, drag and drop your video file in on your effects yeah, channel? It, it, except I tried to do that, and it told me that it wasn't accepting H.264. It said it was invalid. Oh, do you have... Uh, um, um, name of a program. Video program little orange cone vlc yeah do you have vlc installed yeah we'll figure it out but i think we're running about the end of our time for tonight yeah looking at the time i don't want to go cow. too late and this at least of the video side this is going to be longer anyway so yeah thank you everyone for tuning in this week we'll see you next week Hold on. Ah. Got my Dr. Pepper in there.